Hey, I wanted to share a tip with you. If you're shooting two gun competitions, that is where you're shooting steel plates and you're timed on your, your speed and accuracy. I've been getting into that and I wanted to figure out a way to do some practice, but it's very hard to, to find a place that will allow you to rapid fire a rifle and a pistol on a range. So I wanted to come up with a way to do that practicing around the house if I could. And so I decided to convert this old Daisy Model 200 into a, uh, a laser pistol and so I could um, practice target acquisition. I was, I was initially planning to use just paper plates and set those up around in the garage or outside and I could see when the laser would hit them I could go around and set them up and simulate like how, how it would be in a match. But uh, I figured out just by accident after I got the laser uh, shooting in this gun, I sh shot the laser beam on different things around the room and it, when it hit this 3D printed piece of plastic, it gave me another idea because when the laser beam hit this, it, the entire assembly started glowing. And so I realized then I could um, embed an optical sensor, just one inside this uh, piece of plastic. And if the laser hit anywhere on there, it would detect it. Which uh, before I was thinking, well, I'll have to have some array, a whole bunch of s sensors. And I wasn't sure if I was even wanting to pursue that. But once I saw how it reacted to this, uh, it gave me a whole new direction then. And I'll show you what I did on this gun here. It's got a laser LED module in the barrel. And inside here is a, uh, I just used I, the CR123 battery here in the grip in a holder here, it's replaceable. And there's just a standard Form C micro switch here that has a roller on it. And you can see when I squeeze the trigger, it activates the switch. And the red and the blue wires just are run up to the LED laser module. And that provides power to the laser assembly. And in this case, the laser assembly is just embedded into the barrel and it's surrounded by some just some rubber tubing. And I chose to do it that way because I was planning to drill and tap the barrel tip here in three places and use some tiny set screws to be able to push the module around to zero it to the sights. But I got really lucky because uh, well, I set this in a vise after I installed the LED laser in there and I sighted down the sights and activated the laser and the dot was pretty much right on, spot on already where the sights would be. So I, I just got lucky I didn't have to do any of that, but um, later if it shifts or something, I can go back and drill and tap those. And I'll show you the, uh, the laser modules. They're pretty easily uh, available. I chose the small one because uh, they both run on 3.7 volts up to five. Um, the, the larger one gives a very tight um, laser dot and probably a lot further than this one. But for the range I'm using, you know, under 30 yards or whatever, this one's fine. And so I just chose the smaller one just because it was easier to fit in the barrel. But I think this big one will fit in the barrel too, but I have a bunch of these little ones, so I decided to go that route. And for the battery, I just chose the CR123 non-rechargeable just because I, I wasn't sure if this idea is even gonna work. I just wanted to quickly see, you know. But I do have these, uh, rechargeable lithium ions and I could get them in the in in the gun too but just wanted to keep it simple and for the switches they're just standard uh, form C uh, micro switches and I chose the roller one just because it gave a better action with the trigger and I used a um, I just cut a piece of aluminum I don't know if you could see it in there I cut a piece of aluminum sheet metal and I used that to mount the switch to to adjust it around to get it to where it uh, properly is activated by the trigger. But it's pretty easy to do. It's only just a few screws. And um, I'll show you, uh, I'll show you now the, uh, how this reacts. I think what it is is the, um, the grain and the 3D printed process is such that when the laser beam hits it, it pretty much spreads throughout the, the entire assembly. So I'm going to dim the light a little so you can see it, but you'll see what I mean. And, uh, when I saw that thing, the first thing I thought of when I saw the laser hit that is like, wow, a sensor could easily see that. It could easily detect that. And so that's, that's what I'm planning to do next is to uh, go ahead and get the sensors. I was going to 
get some sensors and wire them into an Arduino and, and have a series of these set around the room or the, in the shop or something like that. And there'll be one that is the start sequence that starts the timing sequence. And then there'll be several others that you are supposed to shoot in any order you want. And there'll be another one at the end that's the, uh, the end sequence. So that will end the timing sequence. And so you can actually then see your scores uh, through the Arduino. It'll time each shot, how long it took, and do it very accurately and give you a pretty good feedback on how you're doing and if you're improving or not. And if it does turn out, I'm not sure if it's even a viable way of training. I think it might be this this gun is very similar to the Ruger Mark IIs I use and the Mark IV. It feels the same and it's about the same weight. I've added a little weight, a uh, lead shot in there to give it some, some weight to it. But if it turns out to be a viable training tool, then I'll probably go ahead and uh, put a laser module in, in a rifle and I'll have the whole setup of uh, you know rifle and pistol and be able to train with both. But I'm going to start just with the pistol because that's the one I need the most practice with. And so I'll let you know how it goes.